Good morning, all you YouTubers out there. Alan with Off Grid Technology coming back at you today with another extending your frequency range on your ham radios. The last one I did, which was adding 220 megahertz to your Baofeng. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave a link at the top up here for you. Today, we're going to actually take a look at unlocking the extended ranges on a couple of common ham radios. And I know a lot of us out here, we use GMRS and ham interchangeably. Uh, me personally, I have several GMRS radios. I do have my GMRS license uh, as well as my technician license. So, you know, when I go out and about, do I carry two radios on me? No. Now, it is illegal to transmit on these radios unless in case of an emergency. So keep that in mind. However, if you're out and you have one radio on you and say you've got your ham radio on you that day and there's an emergency and you can't get anybody on the ham bands but you've got someone listening on GMRS, you better damn well be able to transmit on it uh, because that could be life or death, right? So today we're going to take a look at the TYT UV88, the Yaesu FT4XR, as well as the uh, Ocean KG UV9PX, which I got from Better Safe Radio. Um, this is one of my favorite radios, guys. If you do not own a UV9P or a UV9PX, definitely get yourselves one. Um, reach out to Better Safe Radio. He's an amazing guy. He will hook you up. Uh, but that's not the what this video is about. This video is about unlocking these frequencies. So I'm going to go ahead and push some of these other ones out the way. We're going to go ahead and do one at a time. I'm going to show you um, each one. Uh, I'm going to demo that it is locked uh, with the exception of the UV88. That one is unlocked, and I can't figure out how to lock it back. Um, but these two are locked. Um, I will go through the step for the 88, and I will go through the steps for those for you. Uh, but just keep in mind, this one's already unlocked. I, I haven't found a way to lock it back yet, but these two are have been relocked. So I will show you how to unlock them. Uh, the 4XR is fairly easy. UV9PX needs a little bit more. It's got some software for it, which is why you see the cable there. So I will be right back with you. A few moments later. All right. TYT UV88, you can see it's set to 462.7250. Um, the way to unlock this radio was fairly simple. I did try the 1 in 7, which is what you'll see on Amazon. Uh, that did not work. I did reach out to the seller, because this is apparently a new version. He did send me this. So you can take it what it's worth. It does work. Uh, but, you know, just give you a heads up that the 1 in 7 did not work. But what you have to do is you hold down the 4 and the 7 and then you turn the radio on. It'll go through its startup. You'll see that we still have 4627250 there. Now, I've got this radio in the back set to that channel. And I have keyed up off air, so you guys don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and press the PTT button. And you can see it lights up the radio in the back. So it is transmitting on 4627250. Very easy radio. All right, so next up we have is the FT4XR from Yesu. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here for you and I'm gonna push the PTT button. You'll see that we get an error because right now we're not allowed to transmit on 462725. This one is very simple. Um, you can even do this one in the field. Uh, so this one is done by a code, which I'm gonna go ahead and put up on the screen here. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn your radio off. You wanna hold down your PTT and your monitor button, which is the two center buttons here. PTT and monitor. And then as you do that, you're going to want to turn the radio on. And when you do that, you're going to see it's going to come into clone mode. Here in clone mode, you're going to go ahead and enter that number. So we're going to enter 32406665. It's going to reboot. And you're going to see we still have 462725. Now I'm going to move this radio out of the way and I'm going to press transmit. And you're going to see the one in the back up there will light up. There we go. Yesu FT4XR transmitting on a band. So that's number two. So now we've got the TYT UV88. We've got the Yesu FT4XR. Now for this one, we're going to have to change it up a little bit. So um, the Ocean KG UV9 P and PX, um, they, there's no keypad programming that you can do for these. Um, so it's all going to be done in software. First, I just want to let you know or show you that I am on GMRS channel 22 on the top here. I'm trying to transmit. You see that there is no antenna showing up. So this thing is not transmitting, plus the radio in the back is not letting up. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch you to the desktop. And you're going to see there's an application here called the KG UV90 Plus. 
R1. Now this is a frequency editor that I found online uh, that will allow you to edit not just the KGUV9D, but also the P and the PX frequency limits. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have your port selected. Mine's port five, which is what I have the cable in. We're gonna read the radio and you can see it says, says red okay. Shows you your two meter right here, which is your 150 megahertz. Your receive for your upper and lower and your transmit is set to 144 and 148. Your 450 megahertz, which is your 70 centimeter. You've got your RX, which is 400 to 512, but your TX is only 420 to 450. So your 462.725 for GMRS channel 22, you are not able to transmit on. Now to change this, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna edit your TX upper for both your two meter and your 70 centimeter. So for two meter right now, it's set to 148. We're gonna actually go ahead and push this up to 155. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to encompass the merge channels within my radio as well. So the other two, when you unlock them, it just automatically changes the frequency limits. Uh, this one, you can actually specify the frequency limits. We're going to set that one to 155. And then for the UHF, I want to encompass everything up to 470 megahertz, which would include your GMRS uh, repeater channels, 467, as well as your simplex channels. So just that little change right there to, to the TX upper here and the TX upper here. We're going to go ahead and click right. You'll see that the right's OK. And then we're going to switch back to the desktop. And as I write it again here, I'm going to show you just what it does. You'll see it'll write, it'll reset. Now you can see we're still on 462.7250 megahertz. So now I'm going to go ahead and key up, and you will see we transmitted on 462.725. The radio in the back came on. So yeah, guys, uh, just as with the 220 megahertz on the Baofeng, you can now unlock your UB88s. Excuse me, that's the Explorer QRZ1. That one you cannot unlock with this trick, by the way. Explorer UB88s right there. Um, I did try it on the QRZ1. It, it does not work on the QRZ1. There's a different firmware that works on the QRZ1. Um, it asks for a FAC ID, FAC ID, and then gives me a code when I hold down 4 and 7. Uh, you can't see that because of the lighting. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I have reached out to QRZ. I haven't received a spot response yet, but if I get a response, I will show you those. But uh, guys, I mean, unlock your radios for emergencies. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this kind of stuff that you're seeing uh, with the unlocking the radios? I do have some other videos that are coming up as well. I've got some reviews coming up. Um, as well as the update video for the giveaway. Uh, we've got a couple more goodies for the giveaway, so I'll send that. I'll so I'll have a video for that here shortly. Uh, but I wanted to keep this a little bit sweeter. So let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Let's get to 1K and get that giveaway, guys. Have a great afternoon. 73.